Oh shit. It's the government. Director Jennings? Good work, Tethers. Seems like you found something pretty important to these boys. But uh, I... They'll take it from here. But... Enjoy yourself, Tethers. You're on vacation for peace. Oh, no. Go skiing. Shoot a bear. <laughs> Shoot a As bear. Me, I'm headed to that moose -eared diner. I hear they blend up one damn fine milkshake. Why don't you come along? If nothing else, maybe I can convince Director Jennings to listen to me at the diner. Hopefully. I've got to get to the bottom of all this before these agents cover everything up. I'd better check around town to see who, if anybody, is still on my side. Well... Can I talk to those guys? Oh, fuck. Did not mean to click that door. Go on. Hurry up. Right. Seems like I can't. It's just this guy again. Don't want to talk to him. All right, let's head to the Moosier Diner and talk to my boss. Hi. Mm -hmm. Roger. Trees? Mm -hmm. Strange odors? Nope. I'll just leave you guys to it then. <laughs> what on earth are they talking about? Right, there's the boss. Let's talk to him. Director Jennings. Ah, good to see you, Tethers. Can't stay away from these milkshakes, I see. They are sublime. <laughs> You've got to listen. There are terrible things happening in Scoggins. The foreman at the eraser factory, Isaac Davner. Well, actually, his real name is He's Ed not Davis. listening at all. He was abducted from the factory, dragged away by tiny forest gnomes. And, and looking for him, I found the body of an astronaut in the forest. The Brotherhood, that's the local gnome cult, <laughs> led me to a cabin with a reclusive scientist studying eclipses and lunacy. Then, last night, I found a camp around a crashed lunar lander. And the remains of a missing cross-country skier. There's only one Is it getting louder? Ugh, slurping. The astronauts in the forest are murdering people! Oh boy, we're gonna get fired. <laughs> Tethers, you're embarrassing yes. yourself. Yes, no one's gonna believe that. Look, believe me, I know how crazy it sounds. Do you though? I don't think you do, Tethers. <laughs> but I saw them, astronauts. There's a camp in the woods. Camping, maybe that's what you need. Yeah. Spend some time getting back to nature. It'll clear your head. But they're killing people. Are they, though? You don't know that. Maybe you don't believe me about the astronauts. What tipped you off, Tethers? <laughs> but there are at least six missing persons cases in Scoggins. Possibly more. I already spoke to Sheriff Bog. Good man. Got the situation under He's control. He's not a good man, though. He's lazy. Where are all these agents from? Secret Service? CIA? NSA? NASA? To stay out of their way and let them do their jobs. It's classified, Tethers. Is it always classified? I don't know what Jim told you. Ingram, it's not what he told us. It's what he told you. What? What? I hope Jim's not in any trouble. He was just helping me out with my case. You're not on a case, Tethers. Vacation, remember? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. But the eraser factory foreman, Isaac Davner, would turn into a permanent vacation. Yes, oh sir. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Director Jennings, since you've been here, have you seen any hidden people? Hidden people? Is that what the locals call the undesirables? Oh boy. Not exactly. They're gnomes. Uh, forest gnomes. Yeah, he's not buying it. He's not buying it. So, no, no. then? Just drop it, drop it. All right, Director Jennings. I won't come back until I have proof of what I've seen. Feathers, you're a good puzzle agent, I'm assuming. I'd hate to see you throw that away. Good puzzle agent. Noted, agents. sir. Best puzzle agent. All right. Agent Tethers. Glory? I heard what you said about astronauts. I know it sounds hard to believe, 
but I know what I saw. Isaac used to say he had dreams about astronauts. <gasps> so did we. <laughs> they were trying to tell him something. I thought you'd want to know. I've got to find it. The body of the astronaut. All right. Help Nelson retrace his steps to find the body of the astronaut in the forest. Rotate the tiles to create a path from Nelson to the astronaut. And oh God! All right. Um. Let's just fumble around here and let's see if this ends up being a solution to. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Easy. Those puzzles are the easiest, he said. All right, let's find this astronaut. There we go. Yeah, there he is, untouched. Right. There, I knew it, it's empty. It's an empty suit. It's been empty the whole time. Idiot. Should have checked in the first place. <gasps> oh boy. It's Isaac. It doesn't Dad. fit me anymore. Isaac? I, I mean, Ed Davis? No, it's Isaac Davner now. Did you change your name? Those astronauts at the camp, are, are you working with them? Not anymore. When the mission went bust, I tried to run away. But I had to run into the Moose Ear Diner and fall in love with the waitress. I've been trying to make a new life ever since. Oh, the classic story. Hermes 2. I haven't seen it in any of the official records. It was a secret mission, based on confidential research from some crazy scientist. They sent us to the moon with a device, a lunar ray. We were ordered to put it on the surface, but something went wrong. A lunar eclipse? I guess so. The boys on the surface didn't have a chance. What? As soon as they got back to the module, they went completely insane. Oh, dear. Had to lock them in the airlock and scuttle the mission. And you crashed in Scoggins. I realized that the ray was a weapon. A weapon? I saw you taken away by the hidden people, didn't I? Yeah, they brought me back to the lander. Why did they take you there? I don't know. They... Whisper, but in a language I don't understand. I'm not sure why, but I think they were taking me to the Lunar Ray. They want me to destroy it. Hmm. Well, I'll help you. I'll help you, Isaac. You will, but aren't you with the FBI? That Lunar Ray is way too powerful to return to the government. And besides, I'm on vacation. <laughs> Such an American phrase. And an American way of thinking. Government That's guys fine. have okay. already found the lander. We'll have to get rid of that guard. Does your gun have a silencer? We don't have to hurt him. I don't have a gun, by the way. Maybe if I make a noise, I can distract him. Yeah, all right, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, the lunar ray alters the traject... traject <sighs> the lunar ray alters the traje trajectory... Fuck. <laughs> of the rock regardless of how it's thrown. Place the trees in a way where the rock bounces off them to hit the secret service agent. Don't let the rock fly out of the forest. When thrown, the lunar array will force the rock in the following pattern. North, east, south, west. The ray will keep repeating this pattern. So north, east, south, west. Um, so what? It goes... It goes north first, so we have to block it off here. Then it goes east. Um, okay, so we have to block it again, and it goes south, and we have to block it again. Then it goes west and north again. Okay, so we have to block it off 
down here rather, so it comes down here, goes there, and if we block it here, it should go straight to the agent. Okay, looking good. There we go. Quite insane, but it worked. Ba bam! Mission Rock. <laughs> Done. Okay. <laughs> What's he doing now? Is he walking away? Come on. Yes. Now we've got to shut down that ray. Let's shut down the ray. The only safe place for that ray is at the bottom of Lake Spin. Keep an eye on the site while I check it out. Okay. Agent Tethers, if the government gets that weapon, they'll be able to turn anyone into feral screaming lunatics. Just like my crewmates. We do not want that. Right. Uh, let's try and disable this lunar ray. Oh shit, the hidden people. Oh, is it like some sort of force? That's field? it! That's their home! But the ray, it's repelling! <gasps> keeping them from returning home! And that's why they're so angry. I've got to disable it! Unlock the module. Using the control module, make a program to move all three electrons into all three receptors. Alright. I can do this, so... I would guess they move all three at the same time, so we move them up first. And we move them definitely left, because otherwise this one will get destroyed. So they're here. And then we move them left again, maybe? No, this will... Oh, okay, no. So, okay, I'm using my fingers now. Up and left. Now if we move them up and up again and then up once more, we leave one down there, but got the other two. We move this to the left. Up. Uh, we've got the two in there. We go up, right, 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 up. That could work. Alright, so we've got up left. And we go... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We've been discovered. Don't shoot us, please. Oh, are we under house arrest or something? Locked in my yeah. own room. The story was that it was for my own safety. Sure. Isn't it always? I guess I should be thankful they didn't send me to jail. Well, all right then. Oh, the phone's ringing. Hello? Nelson, finally! Oh, hello, Jim. Listen. It's about these Scoggins tapes. Enough with the tapes already! Yeah, I'm really, really sorry about that, but you've got to hear this. What is it? I think you left your recorder on, or, or something. It's labeled, Sighting Hotel Alley. That's when I saw one of the hidden people whispering to Bo Murphy. There's this weird sound. I can't make it out. What is it? Wait, I know that sound. It was playing under Olaf Wellhaven's reel to reel. That explains it. Thanks, Jim. What? Uh, okay, but what does. I don't get it. I figured out how Olaf Wellhaven was able to solve the problem of lunacy. Really? It's the hidden people. He was inviting them into his cabin to speak to him. I've got to get back to Olaf's cabin. Okay. That means finding a way out of this room. Well, we could try the door. Rearrange the furniture and create a path for Nelson to exit the room without being seen through the windows. Only the two dresses are tall enough to block the windows. Get Nelson out of there. Those are the dresses. This is quite cramped. <laughs> Alright, so we have to block this window and we have to block this window. Like this. But we also have to get a path to go out of the room. Maybe we can use the bed can no oh 
Oh, I can move this on the nuts. That's great. So, okay, we, do, we turn this around. Then move the... Um, oh. Move the... Oh. Ah, I see. Do I, though? Possibly not. Um, how... How do I... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, like this. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. And done. Now he can go out of his room. Those are some tall dresses. Wonder why there's two of them in this small hotel room. Anywho, doesn't matter. Let's get going and... Where are we going again? Oh, boy. Oh, yes, Olaf's cabin. Now, how did Olaf get the hidden people to talk to I him? bet it's the socks. <laughs> they are attracted to socks. How could one man possibly need this many socks? Well, um... The moist, white flesh of the codfish. But you <laughs> know that. It is time to call my tiny ah. friends. Yes, what luck! What luck indeed. Come, speak with me, my friends. <laughs> oh boy. They got caught by the tape. 